Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow here and this is a complete like ultimate workflow for one 2.1 video generation. So the first step that you can see would be we will be taking reference from a video and you can see if I bring uh, my mouse onto it, the music starts playing and then we can actually specify the frames that we want here, right? And then we can generate the one video according to this. It is using the depth LoRa and I'll come back to it. I'll show everything. The second part which you can activate or deactivate according to you is the enhancer. So it actually enhances and you'll see a comparison how these get more uh, enhanced everything. You can see like uh, these things. These are now not that like uh, laggy and there is some kind of definition to it right so i'll show this enhancer as well so let's get started firstly you need this one 2.1 control lora so this has been released quite a few days back and i'll just show where you need to download so every link will be in the description box below so you do not need to worry about it when you come here one thing which is very important is that you need the 1.3 billion uh, parameter mod so you can see it is text to video and i am using the fp8 1.3 billion parameter model i am not using uh, the bigger models and it uh, works pretty well with the smaller models as well and you can run it on your laptop i am running this on my rtx 4060 so it will take around like uh, 6 GB of VRAM. I have 8 GB of VRAM on my laptop. So it works well. Here, when you come, you need to go to 1.3 billion. You'll see depth and tile. So you need to download the depth, this uh, LoRa, right? And then you need to download. I am using the version one. So I'm not using the 0 0.2. I'm using the version one. You need to download both of these LoRa's and put it in the LoRa folder. After that, just uh, you'll get the link for this workflow in the description box below. And there is no paywall or anything. You can download it for free. And once you drag in, you'll come to the manager. Click on install missing custom nodes if you have any. If you do not have the nodes, you'll see it would be red. So you'll install all of this automatically and it will start working. Now I'll explain one by one how this uh, workflow actually works. You upload a video. The video can be of any length, do not worry. You can select it from here and the value is actually the number of frames that you want. So as you can see, it is locked to this one, right? So this is the frame load cap. This is the maximum number of uh, frames that it will take for the video generation. So if you want, you can increase it or decrease it. But again, if you increase it too much, it will take a lot of time to generate. So I have taken and if you actually increase it, you can see in the preview that it will show how much is the length. So if I make it, for example, let's say 120. You can see it is now showing the, the like that number of frames, you know. So you can understand how much will be taken as a reference. So I'll change this back to 60 here and you can see it is back to default. Now I have given what I want as the prompt. Negative prompts, I don't think you would be uh, needing to change it much. If you are using something like landscape or something like that, then you would probably need. But other than that, you would not need. Here you can see. I have given firstly you can uh, define the subject uh, right and the action so here she is dancing so I'll put the same thing and it is uh, not actually important to give the same gender or same type you can give an old wizard it will just take the depth it works very similar to the flux depth models so you can uh, give that somewhat of the environmental background like moonlight in a misty clearing uh, black crop top you can give any kind of like uh, description of the dress uh, she would be wearing long flowing skirt and like that then you can add some things like night scene ethereal glow magical aura you know some uh, little little details 
mystical symbols floating in air not uh, and one thing that i have noticed is that when you start adding after this right so the last ones are not exactly generated because this is a very small model 1.3 billion parameters but it does add something because if you start giving here you can see mystical symbols floating in air it will not produce exact uh, mystical symbols but it does get an idea of the environment so it uh, follows that same mystical theme so even if it is not like uh, exactly following the later on prompts adding them is always better because it helps in building the environment i hope that is clear here what is happening is that the images are getting resized so the video is getting resized and here i have given like the width is 786 but it will keep the proportion so if it is like uh, this kind of portrait video it will keep the proportion it is creating a depth depth is going here instruct pix to pix and uh, you will find it is pretty similar to flux that we use and here you can see the positive and negative are coming the vae is coming and from here we are actually loading the first lora that is our depth lora uh, full strength for model and clip it is coming here there is a second like there are two samplers here one we are taking from the lora second is directly coming from here in the second one right and actually the sigmas are getting split so after 10 steps you can see like uh, the 10th step high sigmas is going to the first one lower sigmas are going to the second one and sampler is euler so cfg you can slightly play with it i have found that 4 and 6 are pretty good you can uh, go up to like 4.5 or 5 you can go up till the moment you see that the video is becoming very dark uh, that is the time you need to stop increasing the cfg will kind of help in following the prompt but because we are using depth i do not think you need to increase the cfg more because it already is getting some kind of uh, you know uh, the reference of what will be in the video you just need to uh, define the character the subject and the outfit so with that you can see the frame rate is 16 you can change it according to you uh, the video is generated and here you can see The, there is this kind of like pixelation effect and because this is a very small model there is this jittery pixelation effect that happens with one but uh, then again it is not a big deal because then we will actually enable the enhancer and in the enhancer again the video is coming getting resized here what we are doing is that we are actually using if you want rather than uh, using the florence to run you can directly take the prompt from here as well but why i like to use this the florence to run is because the video is already created if we had any kind of problem uh, in prompting or it was not uh, that you know uh, descriptive florence will actually create a very descriptive prompt based on the video that we have so it helps in enhancement so with that and then again uh, another thing is that i have connected all you can see the clips and uh, the vae here so you can uh, watch it and learn like how i am connecting you know but if you want you can use these as well so you can use the get model get text prompt and get clip so i have kept it here and get vae these are like you would not see these lines you know uh, the nodes connection you would not see these lines it will be connected and uh, the reason i like to keep this is because a lot of you are learning how to create the workflow so you can watch these and it is uh, easier to learn you can just you know move this around and you can see oh this is coming to this vae and this vae so that is the reason i have kept it like this you can also use this you have that again negative the positive one is coming directly from here right and here we are using the skip layer guidance and it is working with the t cache so t cache uh, slightly speeds up uh, the generation you have also seen we have used this t cache uh, with flux as well and it also works with uh, video generation as well so again i have found like these are perfect 
don't uh, change the blocks much i have seen the blocks work pretty well so don't change the blocks and again like it is getting slightly blurred it is coming here uh the blur is necessary because then uh, what is happening is that you slightly blur this sorry this one and then when you regenerate you know so it is getting a clearer image rather than uh, trying to focus on the jitter image so yes and after that this is just to purge the vram so basically it is clearing up uh, your vram and with this one thing interesting you can see is that in the case sampler we are using the sampler as a gradient estimation so again this one and here the lora that we are using is worn 2.1 1.3 billion control tile so in the previous here we were using the depth one now we are using the tile one that you will get from here this one version 1 right you can see i am using the version 1 and with that all of this is same like you are getting the source from the uh, source fps from the video itself and then it will create this one which you can see comparatively is uh, higher quality than the one we generated so if you compare just look at the eyes and the lips and you can see it is slightly better again if you increase the resolution it will take a lot of time but it would work very well but uh, this is the thing you can see this necklace and the pendant it is becoming star something uh, less jittery the hair you can see here the hair seems like completely uh, pixelated here at least you can see those fine hairs and everything is pretty good even in the background you can see these kind of uh, like magical elements these lack in the first generation which is getting enhanced in the second one and one more thing that you will find pretty amazing is that uh, look at the transparency uh, it is translucent you know the uh, look at the fabric it is of higher quality even the fingers uh, one thing is that the fingers are not great with 1.3 billion parameter model but still the resolution is getting higher just look at this uh, just look at this accessory and this one so it is getting a uh, higher resolution and the jitteriness is quite less even in the tree you can see the detailing is getting just look here it is pixelated it seems like some kind of uh, spray paint here the focusing and everything is getting slightly improved so this is the whole workflow you can download it uh, you can run it on your own device and let me know what you think of it and if you have any kind of doubt or comments put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you